Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Shiba Inu coin news video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video sharing, our telegram group, where we share instant cryptocurrency news and pre-sales with airdrop, is in the description section. We are waiting for everyone. Shibarium's launch has undeniably faced significant issues, causing widespread concerns. While there has been a mix of fake news circulating, including screenshots allegedly from Satoshi, there are also legitimate worries and fears. Notably, around $2 million is currently locked up in a vault due to the launch complications. Although it's uncertain whether the Shiba Inu ecosystem team can recover these funds, it's worth noting that they have insured this money. However, I'll delve into this topic further in a separate video later today and discuss the progress being made by Shibarium. Moving on to the topic of token burns, despite a relatively low number of transactions on the Shiba Inu coins layer 2 blockchain, we do have some data on burns that we can analyze. While the number of transactions is currently limited, around 208, we can still perform some calculations based on this data. Please bear in mind that these calculations are somewhat pessimistic, but the exciting aspect is that the burn numbers can increase in a decentralized ecosystem. It's important to emphasize that the developers' unification and the roles of individuals like Cal are changing in a decentralized environment. Validators and those delegating with them hold significant influence in a decentralized ecosystem, allowing changes to be made through governance votes. Just like Terra Luna Classic, where daily votes shape the platform's direction, Shiba Inu Coin's governance can lead to adjustments, such as raising the base fee, which can consequently increase gas fees and overall efficiency. A key disclaimer, only 208 transactions have occurred on Shibarium so far. To verify these numbers, you can visit shibariumscan.io, which offers details about daily transactions, average block times, and more. It's important to clarify that the blockchain isn't yet fully operational since there haven't been any blocks or transactions observed today. Regarding the transaction burn fee, if you click on any transaction and scroll to the bottom, you can find the transaction burn fee. Irrespective of the transaction size, the burn fee remains consistent, with 12 zeros followed by 147 burn tokens. This extremely low fee is inadequate for the purpose of burning Shiba Inu tokens. To illustrate, it would take 1 trillion transactions at this fee to burn just one bone token. This is an unattainably large number, and the current fee structure prevents efficient token burns. Considering the average numbers from the test net, Ethereum hasn't come close to reaching a trillion transactions despite being in existence for about a decade. Even in the test net, where transactions were largely non-functional, Ethereum's transaction count was far from a trillion. To put this in perspective, with the current transaction rate, it would take over 10,950 years to burn one bone token. And this is before considering that we need 25,000 bone tokens in the burn portal before anyone can initiate the burn. It's crucial to approach these numbers with an understanding that Shiba Inu coin's burn mechanism is a core focus. While the current situation appears discouraging, governance votes to increase the base fee can alter these circumstances. The priority should be to enable token burns effectively and efficiently, aligning with the decentralized nature of the ecosystem. Feel free to share your thoughts on whether increasing the base fee for token burns is a necessary step. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and remember, we're here to grow our portfolios together. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.